What's up everyone, Zero here. So NeverSync has released their filter for Path of Exile 2 and it is now available on filterblade.xyz. I'm gonna walk you through how to set this up. It's not too complicated, so let's get into it. When you log in, you're gonna be given an option to pick between Path of Exile 1 and Path of Exile 2. Go to create new filter. You have a bunch of options right here, just as far as how strict the loot filter is. But just to break it down real simply, soft through semi-strict is basically for very beginning. Um, strict is more for like the middle of the game. And then once you start getting into higher tier waystones, you can choose things like very strict, which hide waystones uh, tier one through six. Um, the Uber, which hides tier uh, waystone tiers one through 13 also hides low level uniques, things like that. And then there's also Uber plus strict. Um, this is gonna be for like super, super optimized builds. Um, so if you scroll down here, it's gonna show you what the drops are gonna look like, but you can customize this. So if you go up here to the customize tab, um, you can see here general currency. So these are, you can change the way that you, that the currency drops for you. So like S tier, like divine orbs, you can click on this, you can change the text, you can change the uh, the border, you can also change the background of the, of the box. You can make it look however you want, which is really cool. Um, that's for the general currency, but it has everything. So like campaign and exotic currencies like omens, which I never see, so I'm not, I don't have to worry about that anyway. Um, essences, I never see greater essences, so probably don't have to worry about that. But you pop on down here to unique. This is also a really good way to where if you're new and you don't know, you can tell what is good and what is not. You can also add stuff in here as well. So let's say that there is a specific base that I want to add. Like let's say I wanna put the altar robe into tier one. I would just click in here, hit add, it says it's already in tier two. Do you wanna move it to this tier instead? I put yes, and it adds it in there. So that way that's gonna pop up. So you can customize it however you want. Once you're done with that, you can go over here to the simulate button and you can just generate loot and you can keep hitting this until you get you know, whatever drop that you really wanna see. The ones that are crossed out are obviously gonna be the ones that are hidden. And then you can also click generate valuable loot. And so you can see how that's gonna look. And then you could also hit you can also change the zone level. So like, let's say I wanted to make it 85 and then hit generate valuable loot. Look at that, divine orb, divine orb. You can also generalize the colors and the background colors under the style tab. Um, <clears throat> once you're done editing it and customizing it the way you want, all you have to do is go over here to export to POE. You type it in here, whatever you wanna name it. You hit sync or download. It's going to download it. Let's name it Zero's filter. Click over here to sync or download. You have two options. You can either save and sync it to your POE account directly, so that way you can just access it in the game, or you can save and download it to your computer, and then that, that way you can just load it in through the folder. That's pretty much it. This is a really good tool for you guys. If you're brand new, you don't really know what are good drops, you don't really know what's a really good crafting base, this takes all of the guessing out of it. So go in here, customize it however you want. Happy looting. If you guys found this video useful, please consider subscribing to the channel and I will be back tomorrow to cover the live stream. I will see you guys then. Peace.